welcome back to Fireplace Story. I'm Mrs Charlotte and I look forward to sharing this book with you from our home to yours. Have you seen behind me? It's Easter. I love Easter. Not only because there's lots of new life, lots of lambs being born, lots of chickens hatching, but also you get to go on Easter egg hunts, which are my favourite. We've got some really lovely Easter books this year. Our first is called The Odd Egg by Emily Gravett. Let's get started. Remember, if you want a copy of this book, there's a link in the description below. All the birds had laid an egg. All except Duck. <gasps> Poor Duck. Then Duck found an egg. He thought it was the most beautiful egg in the whole wide world. Wow, look at this egg. It's got lovely green spots over it. That egg is odd. It'll never hatch, said his friends. But the other birds did not. Then, creak, crack, <gasps> tweet, tweet, one little bird. Creak, crack, cheep, cheep, there's a chick. Creak, crack, twit, doo, <gasps> an owlet. Creak, crack, I'm a pretty boy. Flamingo. All the eggs had hatched, all except for ducks. Poor duck. Duck waited for his egg to hatch. He waited and waited and waited until Creak, crack, <gasps> snap! <gasps> this isn't duck. What is it? You're right. It's a crocodile. <gasps> and the crocodile says, "Mama," as he's following his mama, the duck. <gasps> what a lovely book, and one very odd egg. But that's what I love about spring. There's new life everywhere and not everyone looks exactly the same as their mummies or daddies. If you want a copy of this book, have a look in the description below. From arm home to yours, until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>